Hello, my little persnickety friends. This is Shari with persnicketyprints.com, and I'm really excited to show you how to use Google's Picasa to create digital scrapbook pages. It's really fun and it's fast and easy, and anybody can do it. And the best part is that the software is free. So these images here that you're seeing are all made with uh, Picasa, and they all probably took about mm, two minutes to make each page. So once you get started, you'll be familiar with it and you'll be on your way to creating your layouts. Let's first go to google.com backslash Picasa. It reads that I'm a Mac, and so for those PC users, it should say backslash PC here. It's going to give you the option to download Picasa 3.8 for Mac. This is free, um, and this is separate than Picasa Web Album. Picasa Web Albums are hosted by Google and um, it's separate than the actual software that we're creating the layouts with. So you're going to need to have um, an online web album and if you have a Gmail account, you may already have a Picasa account. So you would just need to log in and create an online album and we'll be using this later on to store your collages and order them through Persnickety Prints. So we're going to go ahead and um, wait for you to download your Picasa for Mac or for PC and um, we'll get started on showing you how to use the software. Okay so your Picasa is um, downloaded hopefully by now and it's really cool if you look down here on the right hand corner bottom right hand you'll see that it is finding all of the pictures on my hard drive. It's finding JPEGs, PNG files, all kinds of stuff which has actually been very helpful for me because as I go through I forget where I put things sometimes and it's a good way to clean up my computer or to scrapbook maybe images that I forgot that I had in different folders so I really um, liked going through some of these files it organizes it for you into folders um, just like you have on your hard drive it's also finding I use iPhoto and it also pulls all of my iPhoto um, events. So as you use iPhoto you can create these events where it is organizing like this one has 10 images, 34 images and it's organizing those into events in iPhoto but um, Picasa reads it and <clears throat> keeps those events together. So it's really organized. Um, what it's not doing though is downloading. So all it is is it's reading. It's not backing up anything. It's just reading your hard drive for you so that you can utilize those pictures. So I've made a few scrapbook pages in Photoshop with uh, Cynthia Loosemore's latest Christmas kit that she has at her store in O Scraps. And it took me a good hour to create these um, a, a few pages here. Um, but that's the beauty of Google Picasa is that I'm able to take the rest of my 60 or 70 pictures from Christmas and still print them into 12 by 12 pages to go along with my coordinating um, kits and albums. We will continue with this tutorial um, on our next segment, um, but now you know how to install Google Picasa.